What is going down, heavy metallurgists? My name is Brain Smasher, and I'm back today with another review for Heavy Metallurgy. Stick around. We're going to be checking out the new Pentagram Chili album, Eternal Life of Madness! That's right, Pentagram Chili is back with their second album after being active since 1985. Pentagram were a very influential band back in the late 80s and early 90s through the tape trading network that arose uh, internationally. However, they didn't really get a lot of notoriety for anything because they didn't really have an album under their belt until 2013. So an influential band that started back in the 80s that led and gave rise to a lot of really, really great death metal acts of the 90s. Didn't really have anything to speak for other than their influence. But thankfully they are here today with a new album called Eternal Life of Madness on Listenable Records. It came out on April 26th, so you can have it in your glorious hands. My copy's in my car. I didn't feel like grabbing it today. But what an album. I cannot stop listening to this album. For the last couple of... I don't know, a year or two, I've been really, really down a hole, a certain kind of style that's just been really, really, really scratching an itch for me, and I can't get enough of it, has been kind of where thrash metal ends and death metal begins, that kind of, there's just a, a really, really niche sort of area that I've just been really, really focusing on and enjoying the hell out of the last couple of years. I don't know why it is, it's like, I kind of had an old school death metal phase, I kind of burned out on some of that stuff. Uh, and it's just really refreshing, I think, to hear some of the stuff that's just really, really fun to listen to um, with a focus on the riffs. And that is really where this album shines for me. I hadn't really been listening to the thrash death metal kind of stuff of the current days. I don't really know what's going on in that kind of world these days. But this Pentagram album just kind of flopped in my lap because of some random Facebook post somebody made. And I thought, oh, I'll just check it out. And holy crap, I'm blown away by how great this is. The riffs are just they're perfect. They're pulling influences from all over the place. There's lots of Venom stuff. There's lots of Slayer stuff. Lots of Possessed stuff. Just, just great classic kind of stuff. You'll hear lots of similarities at times between kind of some slower moments like Celtic Frost's early stuff. Um, they also bear a really striking resemblance to Poison from Germany. They got a killer album called Into the Abyss. Uh, but this really, this album just really has it all. The riffs, sure, they're great. Um, and I, you know, I would. It's a kind of a long album. It's about fifty-four minutes. Um, but I honestly can't get enough of it. I just let it play over and repeat and repeat and repeat. Um, but it really has a lot of diversity to offer. There's slower parts, like I said, to kind of sound like Celtic Frost. There's some really, really beefy, tense moments. Um, but they just really use it in a really intelligent way and not really, nothing really overstays its welcome, I would say. Although a lot of the ideas and styles that are going on with this album are really hearkening back to the mid-80s at the earliest, um, I'm just really, really impressed by how careful the band is and it, it really shows in their maturity and how they're a, just able to write killer riffs, write amazing songs, but really just have a sense for how to balance everything so well and not really do anything that is really cheesy. There's really a careful attention, to I think, to not only just writing great riffs, but also having a perfect accompaniment, um, whether it's harmonizing with the second guitar leads, tons and tons of amazing solos all over the place that 
don't really sound too showy or flashy or out of place. I mean, they really, really have a sense of intensity, and they just kind of add to the like the poisonous, venomous, sort of blasphemous nature of the whole album. Um, but also the drummer just really does an excellent job of just doing some interesting patterns that accentuate the riffs. Um, and I think showing the same attention to detail and careful awareness that the rest of the band does. They just really have a synergy to them that is flawless. So I guess the history of the band kind of is they started back in the early 80s. They were active for about six years with a couple of demos and rehearsals. And then in 91, they called it a day. Then in 2001, they came back and they re-recorded some of that stuff. And they didn't get around to doing a full length until 2013. And now here we are 11 years later with their second full length. Um, two of the members have been there since day one. One of them has been there since they reenacted back in 2001. Um, then another member has been here since 2012. So these guys are really, really honed in on playing together, writing together. And I think that really, really shows. I've been reading some reviews that say that um, this album is actually kind of a little bit more mature than the 2013 album. I haven't really listened to that one. In fact, it's kind of weird that I've never really spent a lot of time with this band. Um, a couple of years ago maybe on a heavy metal allergy stream alan mentioned um i think it was their demos and i wound up checking them out just to you know just kind of it was like a name it's like a household name that i wanted to know what was up with pentagram chili i felt like i got a sense for what the band was like and i never really followed through with uh you know the rest of their stuff i just kind of have a hard time with the band who doesn't have like a full length that i can just check out i don't know what it is it's just a thing with me but so now thankfully like i'm re-familiarizing myself with the band because they have an awesome full length that just came out i think this is going to be on the top of many year-end lists hopefully certainly mine um i definitely haven't heard anything yet this year that has blown me away as much as this there's definitely nothing that i've listened to nearly as much as this new album in fact i try and get myself to listen to something else but the, the past week it's been nothing Absolutely nothing but Eternal Life of Madness by Pentagram Chile. Another aspect of the album that I really, really... The, hooked me in first and I still can't really get enough of is the vocals. I wouldn't... I, I really can't say that this is like similar to any other style of singing. It's, it's really, really unique. The vocals, in comparison to where most extreme metal vocalists tend to just belt things out as intensely and loudly and fastly as they humanly can that tends to get a little bit boring and so the vocalist on eternal life of madness is a lot less of a scream and more of like a yell and he, i think he sounds more kind of convincingly angry and has more of kind of like a venomous tone to it i absolutely love it i've never heard anything like it and i don't know if most people would like pick this apart as an interesting element of an album like this but i just can't get enough of it i love the idea of just like an angry yelling like if a, if you got into a car accident and a guy came, like ran out of his car at you and started screaming at you it's like that sort of more like familiar anger rather than this like you know i'm a demonic beast kind of screeching that we all have gotten sick of my house is full of albums that sound like crazy demonic screaming but this guy for some reason just gets me exactly the way i want it to sound Production wise, this thing is crisp and clear and wonderful, but not too polished. Um, I think it does sound like a, a kind of a, a dirty, kind of grungy sort of thing, like uh, you would want a metal album like this to be. It's got a certain amount of pun, like pungent kind of. Uh, ferocity to it. The tone, the guitar tone, is absolutely monstrous. I I can't get enough of it. Um, and so the production overall is just wonderful. I wouldn't take, I wouldn't change a single thing about it, honestly. And so the musicianship is awesome. The songwriting is awesome. And this thing is just an absolute riff bible. If all you want out of an album is great riffs, 
This, we got you covered here. Pentagram's got you covered. No problem. I'm really, really excited to hear what this band does going forward. They did tour the U.S. a year or two ago. Now I kind of wish I would have gone and seen them because this is just awesome stuff. So it's thrashy. It's kind of death metal-y. It's not as intense really ever as most death metal is. It's kind of modern, slick sounding, but it also has a really, really strong old school vibe to it. This thing is just really melting all kinds of different uh, eras of metal and styles of metal and just doing it really carefully with a lot of maturity. Um, and I just think it, it would really, really excite most any metal head. This thing is just great. So check out Pentagram Chili's Eternal Life of Madness out on Listenable Records now. It is fantastic. I'm going to give this thing maybe a, a 9 out of 10 or so. Replayability through the roof. Absolutely great. Never lay down, do the things that 